Love scenes can really make or break a movie. There's nothing more awkward than a graphically uncomfortable kiss or partners that just don't match up. Keep watching to discover some of the most uncomfortable love scenes in movie history. The infamous Fifty Shades of Grey book series developed a reputation to the point that everyone was talking about it. What started out as nothing more than Twilight fan fiction took on a life of its own as millions of readers were introduced to the world of BDSM. Once a movie adaptation was announced, things got even hotter and heavier. In the final installment of the film series, 2018's Fifty Shades Freed, when Anastasia and Christian enter the Red Room, things get a little interesting. The most shocking moment happens when we see all the toys that Christian has, which includes some seriously not safe-for-work items. That doesn't necessarily make things entirely uncomfortable, though. The real problem is the lack of chemistry between Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan, which makes the whole scene seriously awkward. While it was meant to be hot, it just wasn't. Instead, it was an oafish encounter that even the most devout nun would yawn at. 2011's Bridesmaids is raucous and hilarious, but it also has some really heartwarming moments that make viewers smile. The strong friendship between Kristen Wiig's Annie and Maya Rudolph's Lillian is a crucial element, and the romantic connections that Annie tries to make along the way also further the plot. However, you have to have a high tolerance for awkwardness to get through the beginning of the film. The opening scene features Annie hooking up with John Hamm's Ted, and it's seriously uncomfortable. First of all, it's super quick, and it's clear that Ted is only in it for his own pleasure and not Annie's. There's a lot of bouncing, heavy breathing, and eyes roll to the back of the head, and that's it. The encounter serves as a clear indication that Ted is selfish, and Annie can definitely do better. And since it's the very first thing that viewers see, the awkward intimacy really sets the tone for the rest of the film. Ultimately, this moment is super cringeworthy, and that's all there is to it. 2007 was a gray year for cinema, especially rom-coms. There were so many classics that came out like Juno, Enchanted, and Dan in Real Life. One that really stood out among the heap was Knocked Up. This Judd Apatow-directed movie about an unplanned pregnancy is hilarious and entertaining. As this subject matter typically involves intimacy, there's naturally a love scene, but it's not exactly the most romantic thing that's ever been put on the big screen. The love scene that results in the pregnancy isn't the most awkward one. Instead, the most uncomfortable one happens much later when Katherine Heigl as Allison and Seth Rogen as Ben already know that they're having a baby and Allison is quite far along. The two of them would like to get it on, but because of Allison's baby bump and her lack of confidence as well as a fear of somehow hurting the baby, the moment is a bumbling mess. Oftentimes, movies that feature intimate scenes focus much more on the male character. But in Knocked Up, it's abundantly clear that neither Ben nor Allison is enjoying themselves in this scene. You can't help but feel secondhand embarrassment as they struggle to make it work. It takes a special movie to elicit pure, non-stop laughter from viewers from start to finish. And while 2011's Bad Teacher might not be as popular as other more legendary comedies, it definitely had us in stitches. The movie follows Cameron Diaz as Elizabeth Halsey as she struggles with her career as a teacher while also trying to land a rich husband. So when Justin Timberlake as substitute teacher Scott Delacourt enters the scene and Elizabeth learns that he has family money, she's all over him. In fact, while Elizabeth and Scott are chaperoning a field trip with an overnight stay, the two get a little raunchy in a hotel room. However, their encounter isn't exactly steamy, nor is it particularly romantic. It's actually pretty darn uncomfortable, and there's no way to deny it. While Scott is clearly super into it, Elizabeth couldn't look more bored if she tried. There's absolutely no chemistry between the pair. But there is some saving grace to the scene thanks to Timberlake's hilarious facial expressions. The whole thing makes for some strange, but very entertaining, viewing. Well, time for bed. After her big-screen breakout in Bridesmaids, Melissa McCarthy went on to headline a slew of other high-profile comedies. One of those was the 2013 buddy flick Identity Thief, in which she starred alongside Jason Bateman. The plot followed McCarthy as Diana, who makes her living by stealing identities and selling credit cards to shady people. When she steals the identity of Sandy Patterson, as played by Bateman, things get hectic as he tries to track her down and turn her into the police in order to save his job. 
When Diana and Sandy make a pit stop at a motel and Diana meets a local cowboy named Big Chuck who's looking for a good time, things take a turn for the nasty. In the love scene that results, Diana and Chuck head to a room where they proceed to get it on, all while Sandy is right there with them. It's awkward, cringeworthy, and seriously uncomfortable. There's even a moment when Big Chuck asks Sandy if he'd like to watch them hook up as he proceeds to drop his pants. It's safe to say that this is not everyone's idea of a good time. Goofy comedies are the true bread and butter of self-care. There's nothing quite as relaxing as sitting back and tuning into a movie where the stakes are low and the comedy is cheap. Such is the case with Zoolander, the 2001 classic starring Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson as ultra-competitive male models. The plot, which is basically nonsense, follows Stiller's Derek Zoolander and Wilson's Hansel as they attempt to take down an evil fashion designer. But as wacky as the plot of Zoolander is, nothing is quite as ridiculous as the uncomfortable love scene with Derek, Hansel, and their journalist friend Matilda. The romp features cheesy background music, awkward facial expressions, and some seriously questionable questionable hand placements. Things get even more uncomfortable when some more men show up to join the fray and all of them fawn over Matilda. It's impossible to take any of this seriously, and that's pretty much the whole point. As funny as Zoolander is overall, the love scene is pretty uncomfortable to watch, and thus it can be hard to sit through if you're not fully prepared. But if you like your lovemaking as ridiculous as possible, then this is the perfect uncomfortable cinematic love scene for you. Just give in to the power of the deed. In the world of outlandish rom-coms, Forgetting Sarah Marshall stands tall. The plot follows Jason Segel as newly single Peter Bretter, who's unable to move on from his ex-girlfriend Sarah. That is, until he meets the charming Rachel, a receptionist at a Hawaiian resort. In addition to the relatable plot and the great comedic timing in the film, the movie boasts not one, but two uncomfortable love scenes that are impossible to unsee once you watch them. In the first one, Peter and Rachel are getting it on, while Sarah and her new boyfriend, rock star Aldous Snow, are in the adjacent room doing the same thing. When they start to hear each other, Sarah gets very competitive. It's pretty weird, as it's clear that Sarah is only performing that way for Peter's benefit. Later on, when Peter and Sarah get intimate together, Peter quickly realizes he isn't as into it as he used to be with her, and he quickly stops what he's doing. It's pretty cringeworthy to witness rejection in such an intimate setting. It's uncomfortable, but it's also informed by real human emotions. In 2015, Amy Schumer had her big screen breakout with the Judd Apatow directed rom com Trainwreck, which she also wrote. It features a heartwarming and satisfying love story, though there are some bumps along the way. There are also plenty of hilarious moments, and the one that takes the cake has to be the love scene between Amy and John Cena as Steven. Despite how handsome Steven is, he and Amy don't have much chemistry, making it clear that they ultimately aren't very compatible. Nothing makes that more obvious than the moment when Amy requests some dirty talk. Unfortunately for her, Steven really can't comply in a way that's even a tiny bit satisfying. These two are absolutely not meant to be, and their stiff and cringeworthy bedroom life is a big reason why. The 2009 ensemble rom-com He's Just Not That Into You is a highly entertaining film with a star-studded cast. Based on the 2004 self-help book of the same name, it follows a series of interconnected romantic storylines in Baltimore, Maryland. The film is certainly cute, but it also has some strange moments as well as some moments that are seriously shocking, especially when Bradley Cooper as Ben makes a huge mistake. Ben is married to Janine, as played by Jennifer Connelly. But when he meets Scarlett Johansson's Anna, he starts having an affair with her while also helping her launch her singing career. Things get a little awkward when Anna is at Ben's office for a meeting and Janine shows up to seduce him in order to get their marriage back on track and he doesn't say no. Instead, he shoves Anna into a closet where she's forced to listen to Ben and Janine hook up. This moment is seriously disturbing for Anna, as well as for anyone watching. You made me sick my no stomach. Choice. What You're was I supposed to do? Excuse for a man. 2016's Sausage Party isn't the first adult animated movie or TV show to make awkward jokes about getting it on. Based on the title alone, it's no shock that it's loaded with raunchy humor. And it definitely takes the cake when it comes to depicting intimacy. The big centerpiece lovemaking scene is downright disturbing, and if you made the mistake of watching it with your parents, or really anyone else at all, you've probably been scarred for life. The movie has an admittedly outrageous premise, as it tells the story of grocery store food items who learn what happens to them when they're purchased. The most truly shocking moment arrives at the film's conclusion. That's when hot dog bun Brenda and a sausage named Frank finally get it on. 
And then, so does everything else in the store. There are tacos, condiments, and pantry items all going in on each other, and it's kind of uncomfortable to watch, particularly if you're not alone. It's ridiculous, weird, and frankly, unforgettable. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.